In this iMindMap video tutorial, I will be demonstrating how you can use the filter tool in order to view key information on your map. This is a great tool if you have a large map and you want to focus in on certain data. You simply need to navigate to the top toolbar and select View and you will be able to see the filter options under Filter. If you are using a Mac, this information will also be available under the View tab. In order to apply a filter, click on Apply Filter. This gives you several options that you can use to view the desired content on your map. As an example, filters can work whereby you have coded your map with certain icons and then you will be able to use the filter tool so that you can filter directly to these branches that have these icons on there. To get started, choose the filter option that you would like. If you use the drop down menu here, you can choose from any of these four options. You can also choose the filter type for any filter or all filters. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to be using one filter. You can use the options such as field, condition and value to create the different options so you can display the information that you're looking for. You have different information in all of the drop downs to choose from. Each time that you change the field, the condition and the values will also change to reflect the field that you've selected. As an example, I'm going to display a filter using icons. I'm going to select icon under the field tab and then condition is going to be equals and values can either be finance or numbers. The values will be for the categories that you have selected your icons from and then the icons will be the ones that you have displayed on your map. Then you simply need to click on filter and the information you want will be filtered out. There are two ways to remove your filter. The first is using the clear filter button at the top or you can use the clear filter button at the bottom. If you would like to view the rest of your map you do have to clear the filter. However, you can continue mapping with the filters applied. I will now remove the filter so that you can see what the map will look like. 